Yeah. Okay, let's get started. Hey guys, my name is Anthony and welcome to the news of Ocean of Football. Today with me, I've got such a very, very special guest. Would you love to introduce yourself, please? Hey guys, I am Jonathan Gishan. Jane, I'm from Anguilla in the Caribbean. Uh, I'm a footballer, play in the local league and play for my national team. Great, great, great. Thank you so much for taking the time out to do this. No problem. So my first question is that, how did you get into football? Well, really, my, my father is a footballer. Okay. Um, played in Nevis. Yeah. Um, he got me into football at a very young age. I do not remember. When I started, I just know that I've been playing for a very long time. Yeah. So I played in primary school high school and just played all my life basically yeah. okay okay and talk about like what is um country Anguilla what is what's the country about who people don't know it okay it's it's a small island in the Caribbean it's very small yeah 30, 37 square miles and uh, about 14,000 people Okay. Um, so it's it's very small. Uh, yeah, it's a quiet country on a slow pace and whatnot. Um, nice and relaxing and so on. Nice beaches, beautiful sunny all the time. Uh, hot, well, hot right now. Okay. Sunny and very hot. Okay. <laughs> so um, yeah, yeah, it's it's a nice country, quiet, good for relaxing. Um, in terms of the football, mm. because there's not a lot of people per se, yeah. um, we, we behind of, we're behind a lot of the other Caribbean countries and other countries in the world, but mm. slowly but surely, I think I think we can get here. Most likely not with my generation, but generation to come and guys younger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hopefully once we invest the time and the money into them. You should be able to see and will go forward a lot more. Okay. And what is the style like the the style of football there? And is it like professional or semi professional or just amateur? It is amateur. It's um okay. yeah, no nobody get paid to play here. It's just for fun, okay. basically. Uh the the styles well that really depends on the coach. Okay. Yeah, I have different styles. But on my team, which is one of the better teams in the league, we play a lot of attacking. Like okay. Sometimes we only put like four forwards. Okay. So, two strikers, two wingers, and yeah, a lot of attacking. Okay. Which, which is what I love to my head. Okay. Yeah. And like, tell more about yourself. Like, like, like what position you can play and what is your like, your playing style as well. I play. I'm a striker, a mm -hmm. forward, centre forward. But uh, well, that's what I love to do. Mm -hmm. I also play the wing at times. For my national team, the last season under the previous coach, I only played wing. Um, that was in a four-four-two system. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, in the league, I well in the league, I play forward, but I switch in in between the games. Okay. I, I just mean mean the two other forwards. We just rotate. So okay. sometimes I end up on the left wing, the right wing. Occasionally it depends on the if it's like a tough game. Yeah. Sometimes I drop back into the number ten role. To like okay, like when we play Lions, yeah, we beat them two one. Okay. After after we scored the second goal to go ahead, it probably had twenty minutes left in the game. I dropped back in to number ten to put in some more defensive work. Also, well, also going forward as well too. So that's really my my um, my rules here. My playing style is I like to run. Yeah. When I was younger, it was really really a lot faster than I am now. Because I, I had a broken leg, a broken oh, okay. injury, and didn't recover properly, didn't do the right therapy and so on. 
and kind of, of feel, in my heart I feel I'm slower. Mm. <laughs> I still I still kind of quick, but yeah, from from young I just like to run, 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 run. So I'm a running forward, okay. like a lot of movement. So I play I play sometimes with um, the ball at my feet as well, but predominantly running. Okay, okay, that's yeah. cool. And I've been watching your highlights, like, and you score lots and lots of goals. What, what, what's that mentality like? Just scoring goals and goals. What was it like? Just like keep scoring goals. Well, to be honest, I, I just, I just love it. Mm. I just love scoring goals, and because of that, as you're playing. Like each each defense is a different defense. Yeah. So when you're playing, because you just love scoring goals, you just figure out ways to get in front of goal. Yeah. You see a space, you run into it, that that kind of thing. And the midfield I'm playing with is a very good midfield. So um, I know that if I make a run and I call for the ball, there's a high chance I can get it. And it's really, yeah, it's really, some sometimes they make it easy for you. Yeah, my my midfield make it really easy for you to to score and get in front of goal, create opportunities and so on. Okay. So yeah. Okay, and let's talk about playing for your country. Like, I saw I saw the the matches against different country playing for your country, and also I saw you. I watched it. I saw you score your first goal. How did it feel? Really, scored that first goal for your country. Yeah, it's, it's a feeling like no other. It doesn't compare to scoring in the league, especially for your first one. Mm. Uh, it's such a big goal too because we got a point from the game. Yeah, um, yeah I'm just happy, I guess. You really, really can describe it to my honest with you. Yeah, I, when I scored it, just... Well, in, in, in my mind, I was like, finally. Yeah. Because I've been playing on a national team since I was 18. Okay. Mm. And I really got in a lot of games until recent years. But, um, yeah, just like, finally, finally, I got something to show for being a striker, you know? No, nah, it was it really was a good goal. Like, he just slipped it through and you just thought, yeah, I'm just going to hit it. And it just went and hit yeah. So it was it was really a good goal. But also, like, what is, like, for the country's aim, for the national team's aim? Is it more on the development side or for the players? What is their aims for the for the country? Right now, we're in the developmental stages. Like, we, we, we're really starting to put some money into the football. Yeah. Um, so, to be honest, I don't, I don't feel that we're going to see too too much of a change. Well, obviously we be changing, we changing right now. Yeah. But we won't see the big change right right now. Yeah. I feel we should give it a couple of years, and you see because we developing, we we starting to send away players and that sort of stuff. And yeah, it should it should be it should be a lot. The levels should go up. And right now we have some overseas players coming into the league. Okay. Which. Makes the league more com- competitive, you know, which of course will raise the standard of football in Angola. And guys playing in Angola now would have to up their standard and so on. So, yeah, we should, we should see some um, development for sure. Okay, and you just said overseas players, and I thought there was no overseas players. So, like, so now what? You're getting more foreign players now coming to the league now. Yeah, but um, before they before they were just like players who come from away and live here, yeah, who would play, like guys from Jamaica come to walk and play oh. Saint Kitts, Dominica, okay. Saint Vincent, all over. Um, but now for the beginning of the season, I had guys from Trinidad. Okay, like, I think ten guys from Trinidad came and joined two teams. Oh, wow. these are ex they're not ex professional. They were professional in Trinidad, but um, I think the league down there went 
like quit the staff or something like that because of COVID and yeah. situ- money situation and so on. So they came up here and yeah, they joined two teams and mm. they really made the league more competitive. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I am nice. actually going to pick the game later. We'll be playing one of those teams. Okay. Okay. That's, That's great. Great. That's great. And for you, also for your career, like obviously I say like you're you're really good and uh, I think you should be taking the next step. Do you think that going abroad is you've been thinking about going abroad or wherever it is? I've been thinking about it to be honest with you. Yeah, I I just got a um, a message there from someone. Okay. And asking about coming to Nicaragua. To play, are going to Nicaragua to play, but um, I had age to where I am looking ahead at myself, like when I'm after football. Yeah, I'm 25 years old. I would love to play football till I'm 90, but <laughs> you know that's not possible. So the day, the money they offer down there, I wouldn't leave my job here. Okay. To play for that kind of money, so I, if the opportunity arises, I would take it. I would love to go for, but even if it's one season, even half a season, January to to um to the end of the season, I I would love the experience. I never had it, um, but obviously I have to think hard on it and yeah. make sure I do the right choice and so on like that because I have responsibilities here and so on. So, have you got any? Yeah. Con- have you got any? Countries you would love to go, like leagues you want to play in. Yeah, I would like. Well, obviously, I feel I feel UK is like the okay. the gold standard. You can see everybody wants to make it there. Yeah. So obviously, UK. Um, I have a lot of family in the US. Okay. The US would be good. Um. Yeah. Okay. But obviously, well, I. I am the kind of person who I feel I could go almost anywhere in once I'm comfortable. I I would um I would go once I feel like I can live in the area or whatever. I feel mm-hmm. I would go and just make the best of it. Uh, okay, okay, that's great. And I think the last one would be that is what is your ambition and goals for yourself. Um, okay, this is for football or just in life in general? Both, it can be both, it can be both. Okay. Well, my ambition, I, okay, football related, mm-hmm. national team, I want to continue mm-hmm. playing on this national team and obviously score goals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want to get goals and goals and goals. Uh, I, le- I love this nation league um, set up yeah. because now we're able to play with people in our level more often Yeah. because before we were playing Latin American countries and so on and yeah. they really walk over up. So, um, yeah, I, I want to get more games with national teams, score more goals and so on. Here, Continue playing. If if the opportunity, like I say, if the opportunity arises, the right opportunity, I think I will take it. Just for the experience. I would love to experience it. Apart from that, I walking and getting my house in order, building a house. Um, hopefully start my family soon. Okay. So, Okay, but thank you so much for doing this interview. Thank you so much for doing this. No problem. Thank and you for the opportunity. Just telling your story and tell about the country as well. And it's really insightful to to know. And yeah, also... Man, that's good. Good man, good as well for the exposure. Yeah. And also, good luck Um, the match later. Uh, hopefully you do score goals and, and win. Oh, yes. But thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you, and take care of yourself as well. All right, yes, man. All right, see you, okay? All right, cool.